WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's down 40 points, about a little less than two tenths of a percent. Four tenths for the S&P are 16 points, six tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 89 points there, and seven tenths for the Russell. That's about a 13 point move. You've got the semis down 52 bucks, one and a half percent. You've got trannies there trading down 102. That's a seven tenths of a percent move to the downside. Gold's also trading down by seven tenths. That's a 14 point move. Silver by seven tenths, 16 points there. Lice recruit us up 87 pennies. Natural gas basically flat. The 30 year treasury is down a half a point, trading out at 119.10. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. ES Mini right now is trading below a very key level. You want to write this number down on your pad of paper if you don't have it there already. It's 4377. We get a close blow 43.77. We likely have a change in trend. I won't say likely. We will have a change in trend. If we take a look at the spot volatility, yesterday it tested, rejected that 50-day exponential moving average. As long as the price remains above it and it is 15.60, um, sellers have the upper hand. In the case of the NQ, its next area of support is down at the 14.692 level. That's the bottom of its profile. U.S. dollar index yesterday negated its TD9 count top. Prices are trading above that high right now. It looks like it wants to break out, but during the show, the Trader's Edge show, we're going to take a look at the euro, the yen, and the pound because those are the influencing factors with regard to the U.S. dollar index. Gold consolidating with inside its daily profile that ranged from 1918 to 1953. Silver pulling back. This is going to be day number two. Now, there is a new profile that is attempting to form, the top of which is at 2362. So this is a profile that is trying to form below price. And that's a bullish signal for uh, silver out there. Doesn't mean that price can't pull back to test that level of resistance, which right now would be 2362, but it is a bullish signal. Lightsweed crude has held its swing point down at 7860. Price uh, has resistance up at the 8138 to 8194 level. Natural gas will complete a TD9 count bottom pattern today. It's also forming a new profile. It supports at 255. Resistance up at 279. And the 30 year Treasury just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It does have a TD9 count bottom as well. If it continues to trade lower, support would be down at the 118.09 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Friday, have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.